My name is Violet Blue. Back in the beginning of this year, I was invited to be a guest star and a lead writer on a fan show for the TV show The Expanse. This series was called Flip and Burn, and it was greenlit for 12 episodes. We worked on it like crazy. We were building sets, I started doing stills and green screen work, which was really fun, and then production was put on hold. Budgets. Even so, I've had to keep it under wraps. But that changed when I circled back to the team lead during Expanse Cosplay Week because I wanted to show off my character, but I wanted to get explicit permission to talk about my parts of the show we created. So I missed the Cosplay Week deadline, but luckily I get to share it with you before the Expanse premieres its new season on Amazon Prime on Friday, December 13th. Now, if you're familiar with the Amazon Prime show, you're probably thinking that what we were doing with our fan show was creating a story that occurred at the same time as the show, but just in a separate world or location. What we decided to do was base what we were doing 10 to 15 years before the events of the TV show. What was nice about being set in the past was we had a hard stop to write against. We knew how everything ended up. So we got to write up against events that were going to happen, people who were going to come and be agents of change for the different worlds of the Expanse. With a ton of creative freedom and a really cool Bellator character to play for the show, I decided to base my character's experience and world on Aero Station, when it was the heart of the belt. Now, if you've watched the show, then you'll remember different characters saying, oh, you should have seen this place, and talking about Aero Station when it was the jewel of the belt. Well, what I wanted to know was, what was that like? What was Aero Station like when it was shining, thriving, full of culture and art, music and dance? And why was it so important? Why, when Aero Station was lost, why did it rip the heart out of Belters? So I created a vast world in Aero Station of thriving culture, exuberant art, clubs, nightlife, legendary DJs. I wanted to know what did the graffiti look like on Aero Station? What were its cultures and traditions around death and memory? I wanted to know what the myths and the stories were that children were told about Eros, because there was at least a generation there or two. Of course, into the world I also built a really messed up system of politics. Uh, people from Mars coming in to party and, you know, steal music from our DJs and, you know, wealthy people coming in from Earth to partake of our pleasures and our sex-positive attitude around gender and sexual orientation and sex work. In the middle of all of it was the character I played, June Santos, who is the harbor master of Aero Station. She had a sideline in smuggling, and also especially art smuggling. So that's it for now. Shishitaki-taki for watching. Kompe mi.